Bob Maston farms near Sundry, Alberta, and like most farmers, he enjoys driving past a nice-looking crop. He has over three decades of experience as a pedigreed seed grower, and during that time he has learned the importance of finding productive new varieties for commercial farmers. A couple of years ago, he was in Saskatoon at a crop show and took advantage of an opportunity offered by the Saskatchewan Pulse Growers Association to acquire the rights to a new 4-HP variety named CDC Horizon. And they said that this was one of the five niche varieties that they had that they needed somebody to get behind it and promote it. It would be a niche and it would need some help. So they said if anybody in the audience has any ideas how to go about that. So uh, I came forward and said I'd love to promote that variety and I understand your situation. So how about if I just buy up all your breeder seed and then I'll own and control the variety. And they said that probably uh, passes all our bylaws and all our regulations. So. Welcome to it. Horizon is bred to be a tall, high-volume crop, which is obvious from these pictures taken on Maston's farm. But the climate in this area caused some trouble at combining time. It stood as tall as I was and it was standing. Um, had a little bit of a problem with harvest because we had four to five weeks of solid rain. Sprayed it with a desiccant and uh, left it stand. I didn't want to put it in swath while it was raining. It just kept getting shorter and shorter and shorter. And finally after a month, uh, six feet of, uh, of pea was down to about ankle height. And it took me an hour per acre to swath it, two hours to swath two acres. After that experience, Maston contracted Don Bulls of Three Hills, Alberta, to multiply the seed for him, since Three Hills is in a drier area that usually gets more heat. Bulls told us he's quite impressed with this 30-acre field so far, which is about four feet tall on average. This is surprisingly good stand for as thin as it ended up getting seeded. And that's kind of encouraging that way that they're, they're fairly, they can be relatively competitive. This was seeded quite a bit lighter because we're trying to increase our seed uh, as much as we can for the seed we have and get the most bang for the buck. So it was seeded uh, with viable seed probably under 100 pounds an acre. Maston points out that if you were seeding Horizon for silage in combination with another crop, you can put in about 30 to 40 pounds per acre. And that's one advantage with this variety compared to the old standard. Um, 15 to 20 pounds an acre was about the maximum with the old standard because it was so bad for standing, it would climb up on anything else in the field and drag it down. Whereas this will stand on its own and uh, you can probably double the rate of peas uh, in the blend. So instead of going at a 15 or 20 percent blend, you can probably go as high as 30 or 40 percent with this. Seed growers like Maston and Bowles put in this variety as early as possible, but if it's being used as a forage, it could be seeded in late May or even June. Like most forage peas, Maston says Horizon is a much stronger competitor against weeds than field pea varieties. People um, will try and put a field pea in as a forage variety, but they don't compete too well against other crops, which they see as a weed. They don't compete too well against weeds. So to be a true forage variety, you need something that will be fairly competitive against weeds or other crop types, so that when you put it in a blend, it doesn't wither up. Now on its own, this variety has proven to me that it can uh, compete with the best in the forage varieties. That is one thing that we still have to uh, work on is testing it in blends and make sure it has the competitive advantage of a forage variety over a field pea variety. Like other pea varieties, Horizon benefits the soil by adding nitrogen and thereby cutting your fertilizer bill. Maston says it should mature about a day or two quicker than a forage variety recognized as the industry standard. The other one was what you'd call an indeterminate, so it would basically keep going. Um, this one, I guess, would be kind of a, a semi-indeterminate uh, or semi-determinate. It will eventually uh, mature off, but compared to field peas, it's on the late side. Um, but compared to the standard forage pea, it would be, it would be earlier. Forage peas have been traditionally utilized in silage blends, but Maston figures Horizon has good potential beyond that as well. In the past, the uh, main users of a forage pea have been the dairy industry, uh, looking for a little higher protein. Um, 
mainly um, the specialty markets, but uh, a lot of cattle producers that uh, are looking at swath grazing and trying to increase the palatability of swath grazing. So this would fit good because it's big and bulky and you want a big bulky windrow for swath grazing. Um, and you know, give the cows an incentive to dig through the snow and go for the windrow. Mastin told us Horizon has been growing successfully across most regions of Western Canada in co-op research trials and had a better seed yield than previous forage varieties. With anything close to average yields, they should have enough seed available for commercial growers in the near future. Mastin invites those looking for more information to visit his website, which is mastinseeds.com.